All right, everybody, it is Friday evening, about 8 o'clock. I just got in from a little outing out at the reservoir, and today I took my little dip net with me, and I collected up a bunch of um, tadpoles. I forgot what they were called for a moment. So I collected a bunch last week, and I poured them into the tank, and they all got eaten fairly quickly. Uh, I have another sunfish in this tank. I have a bluegill. And I'm not sure where it is, but the two we can see here... Uh, this one is a green sunfish that's clearly waiting for dinner. And this one is a new green sunfish that I just put in the tank uh, either yesterday afternoon or the day before. I tend to lose track. Uh, so this one's still a little skittish. It's that larger fish you just saw sort of reposition himself back there uh, in the rocks. And somewhere in here at the moment is my actual bluegill, which is the largest fish in the tank. There it is back there. So that was the only one that I saw actually eating the tadpoles that I put in. The other fish took a shot at them, tried them, and then spit them back out. Uh, this small green sunfish was already in the tank for about a day, so that still um, might have made a difference. He's eating much better now, so he might be a little more aggressive with the tadpoles that go in today. And then this new sunfish that's still... Uh, fairly skittish and still hiding quite a bit whenever I'm in the room and near the tank um, Might not be really aggressive with the feeding today either. So what I'm going to do today is I'm actually going to take the uh, Tadpoles that I have right here We have quite a lot of them And I'm going to pour them into this net and we're then going to put the net into the tank um, And I'm going to try to release them at the bottom from the net and we'll just sort of let them swim on out of the net and down into the rocks and we'll see where they go and what happens and it might give some of them a chance of living a little longer so give me a moment and we'll get on with doing that and we'll see what happens all right let's see if we can do this one-handed Well, it certainly looks like this sunfish is going to go after them. And here comes the bluegill. The bluegill swimming all around not knowing what's going on. It looks like the tadpoles are mostly hiding down at the bottom. I do have a few that are hitching onto rocks and to the sides of the piece of wood. But I think the sunfish in here is going to go pretty much nutso trying to get them all out. And judging by what I know about sunfish, they will eat until they are gorged on these things. So I put about a hundred of them in there probably. It was a lot of them. So some of them might survive at least overnight, maybe over the next few days we'll get to see the occasional little tadpole in the tank until it gets gobbled up by a fish. Um, there's literally hundreds of millions of them out where I've been going fishing. It's a sort of boggy, soggy sort of area with shallow, marshy waters, and the water just ripples black with tadpoles as far as the eye can see. Um, literally tens of millions of them so a hundred here and a hundred there is no great loss uh, for me putting them in the tank and it's interesting to see now it almost looks like the minnows are back there the little golden shiners in the back seem to be a little more uh, actively pursuing uh, the tadpoles which they were not before they were biting them but then they were spitting them out so I haven't actually seen any uh, gobbled up per se but it sure looks like they're a little more uh, aggressively going after them so I'm not really sure if that's a learned behavior uh, or what. Uh, I was told that the um, tadpoles I was putting in there are toad tadpoles and the main difference is that toad tadpoles are pretty much all black and don't have very much coloration to them at all whereas frog tadpoles are usually going to be a green or a brownish color uh, they have a little more translucent body uh, whereas these they're hard to see. The fish can certainly spot them. 
but these are just black there's no real coloration to them at all uh, the gravel you're seeing there there's black specks all over the bottom is actually black um, inert gravel uh, but there's still a few in there darting and dashing around I can see them so that'll give these fish some good natural forage it's a good healthy diet for them uh, I know it may seem cruel to some people for me to put live animals in the tank that are just being gobbled up. Uh, again, these are tadpoles. They're, you know, it's no big deal. Uh, and it is good for the fish. It gives them good um, natural diet and it allows them to uh, partake in natural forage behavior as well, which is always good for the fish. Uh, I'm really digging the way this one looks under this LED lighting. I'm really considering getting... Um, better lighting for this tank because of the fish that I want to put in here. I really want to do them justice um, by having them show off underneath that brilliant lighting uh, down here. This one is really a stunning fish, but under the circumstances, we're just not really going to get to see uh, how pretty he is just yet. I did just change the tubes in this um, tank, or at least in one fixture that's on this tank. I do have several fixtures on this tank, um, but I do need to get in there and clean up the glass and I still have some uh, fairly heavy tannins in this tank that need to be removed but soon I will be in there and we'll get this all cleaned up and then maybe if I can make the investment uh, we'll put some really good um, you know 6500k or maybe even 10,000k uh, LEDs on this tank and these fish will really pop and look beautiful so make sure you subscribe you don't want to miss any of that you don't want to miss any more of my uh, adventures with collecting and you don't want to miss any of the uh, new fish that I'm going to be putting in here as the summer goes on because we'll be swapping this stuff out, uh, putting different fish in, so on and so forth throughout the summer. This is going to be a fun tank to have a good time with. So, thanks again for watching. Make sure you're subscribed. Don't forget this is my native tank and I will see you real soon on the next one. Thanks again for watching.